I'm sure all of you showed up here just to see me, right? It's embarrassing. So nobody here showed up for Shea Carl, right? of vlogging? Do we know what that is? Like, if you were to look it up, if there was a one-sentence official definition of vlogging, it's just what would it be? Facing the word or something like that? Well, yeah, I mean, what would it be? An image? Get into here! Always late. Always late. Sit down. Now we're all here. I think. He's so rustling. Oh, he sprayed 22 sprays of cologne on. I just tell him how I sprayed a lot of cologne. You know what we're talking about? Right. Yo, I bought the female version of cologne. Yeah, literally. And we're two days here at Nobody told me. 
This is so exciting. So this panel is basically the art of vlogging, and I honestly don't think that we could have chosen a better panel because everybody up here has been vlogging since the very beginning. So just in case you guys are not aware of anyone up here, let's do some quick introductions. Charles, would you Hi, like to go first? Hi, I'm Charles Trippy, and I make videos on the internet. Hello. I'm Shay Carl, and I'm a YouTuber, and I'm friends with these guys. <laughs> Wait, where's the microphone? Oh, oh no! Wait, where's your microphone? We need a technology device to amplify the sound of this man's voice. What's that called? Oh, we need one and... Uh, hi, I'm Jesse, and I'm... Ah! I don't have two mics. Alright guys, this is, this is how... This is, this is great. I'm your friend. This is how we roll. Alright, so let's just get started here. I'm apparently, you know, I'm supposed to be moderating this panel, and I think a lot of moderators did a lot of preparation. They had a lot of, Are like... Are you moderating? Is that I, what you said? Yes! Yes! I, I am moderating this just panel. Out. Yeah, no, we are actually hanging out, so I'm gonna try to keep this in line. So, first of all, all of you guys, like, what got you started into vlogging? Like, why are you... Why did you start doing this? Do you guys want to go first? I started because of these guys right here. This is kind of funny because I started because of him. I kind of started because of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I, yeah, me too. I used to watch you on Justin TV back in the day. Yeah, so this I remember your iPhone video when you opened the bill and the thing and I'm like, what is this? Who is this girl? Like, I remember watching that video and thinking like, I could do something like that. I remember you guys sending me response videos to all of my videos. I remember leaving like a mean comment on your videos because like I said something like, I, like I think I was like trying to promote myself in the in your comment like, haha, check out my videos. I hate when people do that, and I was doing that on your channel. This is actually kind of a funny story. Shay got to start because Phil DeFranco saw a video response by actually Shay. I so, remember Phil DeFranco stole some of my buttons from my website that I had designed myself, really? so I knew he took them because I Phil, if you're out there. there. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy how this all sort of happened. I mean, we've been doing this for so long, and, and what do you guys think of, like, how did this all evolve? I mean, you guys, I mean, you went from, you know, doing the pranks, but also, like, vlogging, and what's the difference between creating sort of the prank videos instead of vlogging? Oh, jeez. Uh, Speaking to the mic. The difference between prime videos and vlog videos is in vlog videos, we can be nice to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and prime videos are just really hard because you know you're going to hide the camera and all. And um, and I guess watching yourself being pranked is really fun. I mean, but watching both of your videos is really fun. So, I don't know. <laughs> So, I mean, this has all evolved so much. I mean, you, everyone is doing so many things also sort of outside of YouTube. So what has it been like kind of transitioning from YouTube, doing to other things? Don't be worried. It's just like, I you know, you. when you're at the playground and you go on I one cool you. thing, you're like, Whoa, that was I awesome! You, I Whoa, look at that! Let's try that! Hey! Got it! Oh, goodness! Security! Security! Addition to the panel, Travis Clark, lead singer of We the Kings. Everybody! Dude, I told you, I told you we're gonna do the panel now and then we'll get lunch after. I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> Check out We the Kings playing live at VidCon. You're playing at 8 p.m. Over at the arena. So what's it been like, Charles, for you, you know, going on tour, vlogging, and everything that you've been doing? I mean, how do you sort of maintain the daily vlogs? Because that's a lot I of work. I lost my sanity years ago. I don't know. It's, uh, it's been really fun having people very supportive, like Trav, Danny, and Hunter, and Coley. Uh, but it's really tough, actually, because everyone here, you travel so much. All of you guys travel so much. And when you travel, I mean, probably all these vloggers out here, too. When you travel and try to do vlogs and upload, it's impossible. Not impossible. It's, it's very rough. hard. It's very yeah. hard. It's it's impossible unless your name is Charles Trippy. <laughs> so no, nice people. So many nice people. So for you guys, like, coming up with so many different pranks. I mean, has there ever been a point where you're like, we've done absolutely everything? You know. So coming up with Except all kinds of crazy me. pranks. I mean, you guys probably feel like, okay, we've done everything, but yet you still find something else crazy to do. What is your inspiration? Um, just trying to scare her as much as possible, or <laughs> trick her. And it is getting really hard to find each other now, so we gotta be super creative. 
But, I don't know if you guys know, but we're going to be doing another YouTube series with pranks, and we're going to be pranking other YouTubers. Oh, so you guys are nice. safe. Oh. Like we're done oh. pranking each other. Well, we're not done, but... We're, we got our sights on some other people. I think we need to be proactive, and we need to aggressively approach like, a prank against these two. <laughs> I, have you guys, you still haven't been able to successfully prank me, have you? You've been able to scare me, but no prank. No, I got you with the pizza box. That's a scare. <laughs> That's a scare, it's not a prank. I got, yeah. to do a good prank, you gotta find their like, favorite yeah, things or weakness. Charles' so favorite is pizza, so. That's right, right with that. What was that, like? Blogger fair? Where was that? Sorry, we're going about tangents. We just think we're up here. I'm not doing a good job at my moderating duties, am I? No, no you're <laughs> I can't come out of a pool like this with my head without being feared of getting hit in yeah. the face with a pie. That was actually pretty good. Guys, you're really, really, really good. And it looked like it was so planned, too. It was, I thought you did. Oh. Charles pied me in the face it was twice. So, have we all been to the first VidCon? We have all been to the first VidCon. You guys went, right, first VidCon? Where Piss for Building was there? The first VidCon. You guys were there. Yes, the first VidCon is where I met you, Charles. I yeah. met you in the first VidCon. That's true. I met Justine. Yeah. And uh, maybe Shay? I don't know. Shay was too busy for me. I was so a famous Shay. Shay was a very busy guy. I remember you yep. sneezed on me. I was too famous, I remember. Yes, the sneeze prank. I was like, oh, oh, that was an yeah. aggressive sneeze. <laughs> it was like a spray bottle. <laughs> so for everybody out here, whose first VidCon is this? I know this guy right here. Wait, he was at the first one right there. So he was actually there? our first like viewer that ever came up to us. He's right there. He's, that's awesome. At the first week, guys, I watched your videos. You've been oh, all six videos. He's here. That's this is up. amazing. Thanks. What do you guys think? Like, how this is? Did you ever expect that VidCon would ever become what it is today? Uh, not this big. Actually, I was talking with Chad from the Clip Critics uh, all the way here, and the first VidCon was actually what I missed. It was an unofficial VidCon. It was in San Francisco. Were you at that one? It was the, the like, YouTube, um, I forget what it was called, YouTube Live or something? It was no, just, that, that was that. That was for safeties. Yeah, that was the, the very first time I ever met you. I don't think you were there, but yeah, the first time I ever met you and Phil yeah. DeFranco was at a pier that Mr. Safety put on. And then I think the next one was in New York at 789. Yeah. You guys were there at that one. Were you not in 789? That's how this, I mean, that's what VidCon has turned into. These were all just meet and greets. In the early years, it's like, let's just get together and hang out, and we would make YouTube videos. You would do it until the, uh, the cops came. Yeah, like, we would get kicked out. It was like, oh, we got 20 bratty kids up on floor 12. And Chen was at that one, remember? But in Korea, for the very first time, this was seven years ago, the very first uh, gathering we ever went to, the creator of YouTube was there, Steve Chen. And it was like, that guy invented YouTube, and then we all make YouTube videos and now we're all hanging out in real life and it, that was the first time hanging out with a billionaire. <laughs> so, I remember telling my parents I was going to San Francisco to hang out with random people I met on the internet. They looked at me like I was crazy. And seven yeah. years later, I mean, this is what it's yeah. turned into. They think I'm crazy not to go. So for you guys out there, do your parents, they think you were crazy when you said I want to I wanna go and uh, see some people that I watch on the internet? Anybody? Yeah. Who brought their parents with them? It's funny how more and more crazy awesome. people show up every year. It's true. It's true. So what's next for you guys? You're doing the fun new YouTube show, the new prank show. I mean, like, what kind of thing is something that you guys have always wanted to do that you haven't yet done? Well, we always enjoy traveling, so any opportunity we have to travel, we like to do it. That's always a lot of fun for us. We, I know something. Tiger, you know, like, she oh. wants to pet a tiger. That's what she wants. Did you do. what? Pet a tiger. Wait. Pet a tiger. Like, rawr. Okay, I thought you said pet a tire. I was uh, like, yeah, that's new, that. but a tiger would be way cool. Like, is this a new video game that I haven't heard about? <laughs> it's the new Flappy Bird. Pet a tire. <laughs> so, YouTube. Obviously, clearly, we're all on YouTube. But what's it like also for you guys using other platforms? Do you have another second favorite to YouTube? My second favorite is You Now, from the stage of You Now. No, I haven't used... All right, Shay. <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. I've been taking Snapchat. Yeah? yeah. 
Does anybody else like Snapchat out there? Okay, I'll take a Snapchat right now. If anybody's on Snapchat, so get 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 this out and just uh, maybe say, take some snaps. And also, I believe we're going to be taking some Twitter questions from the audience. Who has a MySpace? I, I just love the other day. It's when I first met Charles, that was one of the big things about him is he had 75,000 friends on MySpace. See you had one. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna brag. How many did you have? I don't know. I don't remember. It was over 100,000. Live journal? Do you have a live journal? Live journal? Oh, of course. Everyone yeah. had a live journal. Live journal. I think out of all of us up here, I Justine has been on the internet longest. Yeah. She was yeah. born on the internet. Yeah. It was. I came out of my mom. I was like, oh, dial up. This is dial great. up. So yeah, what do you guys want to talk about? Tweets. You want to do the tweets? Yes, yeah, yes. We got to come up with no Some point. Twitter questions. Okay, so we're gonna use a hashtag. I will call it hashtag. Is it up there? Internet? I don't know. It's right there. All right. Okay. Blog VidCon is the hashtag. Okay. Don't ignore me. So use the hashtag, and you guys can ask us questions. But in the meantime, while you guys are asking, what's next? What do you think the future of YouTube is? Because we've all been on YouTube for so long. So where do you see it going from where it currently is now? I think that I mean it'll hard. It's hard to know where the trends will go, but I think something that we definitely can see that's happening right now is the camera technology is evolving. We've gone all the way up to 4K. That was like 60. Yeah. So it's like, where do we go from 4K? It's like, well, instead of seeing it super super clear, I want to see all of it. So now we have these 360 cameras, which I thought of a really great collab idea. Because, and that's what's great about technology and collaboration and YouTube, because I watched a 360 video that we uploaded to the Tricks and Booth, no shout out intended, but I thought, you could technically watch that video hundreds of times and never have seen everything. Because it was just like a five minute video of a live stream, 360 in the booth. And if you're watching this, but you can hear this conversation going over, you can click on the screen to rotate, so you're literally Turn. in the room, Turn. and then you see that happening. Happening, but if you missed it, you have to refresh the video to go back and rotate to that spot to see that again. So these 360 videos are more than just like videos; they're whole experiences that you can go experience and relive over and over and over. So that I, I think might be the few 360 videos. I was literally asking Allie about these things. Do you guys think a 360 video takes away from the personal vlog experience of going back and forth, yeah. or do you guys like uh, the idea that you just go like this and you see everything? I was thinking about it, like kind of going back and forth like this, kind of like gives it more of a personal. Who has seen a 360 video? Raise your hand. So it's like half and half. I was underwhelmed the first time I saw it. I was like, it's not very clear. It's like, like 3D. It's like yeah, it's just 3D. like it's blurry. It's like, I guess it's cool. But I can see how that, it's just the beginning, right? So as virtual reality and 3D cameras and all this stuff evolve, I mean, we are transcending geographical limits. Like, we're all in this room right now breathing the same air, but we, the people yeah. in the live stream, they're only a little bit away from us. They're experiencing almost all the same things we are. So I think as the cameras and technology and internet get faster, who knows, man? It's gonna get weird. Well, and VR's pretty really cool, too. So <laughs> have you tried any, like, the Oculus Rift for gaming or any of that type of stuff? Have you tried that yet? Yes, what, do you, yes. what, do you, what do you think about it? Um, yeah, I think it's definitely the future. I mean, it's going to be, I think that's what the future is going to be. We're going to watch movies in VR. Like, they're, they're, we're going to just go to a movie theater, we're all going to put VR glasses on, and that's how we're going to watch it. So you can make the movie your own experience, basically. Jurassic Park yeah, interested in really that. Crazy. I'm super interested in that. That would be actually really, really interesting. If you're watching yeah, watch Avengers, watching Avengers, Avengers, but you can walk around right? the whole New York that you're like. So yeah. that's where it's like you can watch that over and over and over again because this time it's like I'm gonna go watch a Bumblebee fight from under his that's left heel. You know what I mean? Like whatever. So we're gonna do VR in every demographic. <laughs> well, the question is, will that count as one view or multiple views? Uh, that's all you care about, isn't it, Justine? CPM dollars. I'm to you. Let's I'm rack them up. I am just asking. You know, I'm being objective here. Okay. <laughs> questions here from the audience. This is kind of exciting. This is from Paige. She wants to know, what is your favorite VidCon memory? Ooh. Mine would be dancing with Hank Green on stage uh, before playing. It was actually, it was very sweet. It was very sweet. Very awkward. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> My most favorite memorable VidCon memory is going to happen 
in about an hour and a half from now. Uh oh. So I'll You're get right. back to really excited. At 3.45 on the main stage, Thomas? my most memorable VidCon moment's gonna happen. I'm scared. You should be. I, I know. I think my most memorable VidCon moment is probably the first VidCon. Really just sort of, like, we were able to sit in the, the lobby and just people yeah. just come and hang out and it really wasn't as necessary. I mean, everyone, was, I felt like was a creator. So everyone was kind of there and creating. So the community was still just being formed. And uh, Throw Boy, do you remember the Throw Boy yeah. pillows? They're still here. Yeah, I know. But I remember he was there VidCon also, just getting started, and now those emoji pillows are everywhere. The yellow is the one. Yes, and now it's red. Yeah. Now it's red or gray or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, remember when Mr. Was... Belding was there? Yes, that was, was very random. You guys were, uh, yeah, was it the first one, I think? Do you guys remember Mr. Belding was there? No. Yeah, remember he was like, he's a city that he's from Saved by the Bell, you guys have seen that show, right? The old people. Uh, yeah. The principal, he was just so... chilling there in the, the lobby with us. What's your favorite VidCon memory? What do you guys got? I think meeting all of you guys was pretty cool. The very first VidCon. VidCon is a lot different today than it was the very first time. There, all of you guys weren't here. It was much, much smaller. It was a lot of YouTubers. We, we got to know each other. We didn't really know each other before. And I feel like that's how we grew on YouTube. We got to meet everybody. We got to collaborate with them and make videos together. And now the experience is different. And it's really cool because we get to see your faces rather than read your comments. We get to hear what you have to say in person. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, I think that was definitely the most memorable was the first one. Because the YouTube thing for us was new. We didn't meet, we never met anybody else that created YouTube videos. That was your first time. one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was just after your Sit in the Challenge blew up, too. <laughs> and then, but I would watch all you guys and be like, what is this? What is this? And then when I met everybody in person, I'm like, whoa, there's a community. This is amazing. And that, that was definitely the most memorable. It's so awesome. I just thought of an interesting documentary topic about the cross collaboration between Cinnamon and YouTube startup. Because think about what Cinnamon did for Glozell. And think yeah, man. how much more cinnamon was sold in the world because people went to buy cinnamon to do the cinnamon challenge. And then their cinnamon challenge video went viral, thus changing their life because of a delicious spice. That's an opportunity for something. Oh, it's people dangerous. Do, oh, oh, and all the cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is actually, this is from, um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but it, they want to know, was it awkward to vlog in public when you first started? By the way, I love you all. Very much so. You got to get through the, uh, probably not for him, because he just, Mr. O outgoing over there, but it kind of gets out, uh, a little awkward, you know, from talking to a camera because you know you're talking to like thousands of people, but everyone else is thinking you're a crazy person. Um, so I think once you get past that, it's just you got to think of like you know who cares what people think. You're not gonna see them again, you know, especially the airports and stuff. I feel like airports are the most awkward place to. I feel differently. I feel like airports are my favorite place. But you're never gonna see them again, right? Because I. The worst place for me to vlog, my hometown Walmart. I hate that. Because it's like, yeah, I see people I knew or I grew up with, my sixth grade teacher, and I feel embarrassed right. that they see me vlogging. But if I'm in Los Angeles International Airport, I'm never going to see any of these losers again. I don't care. Okay, well, What's that's good? Jake Carl here! That's because you've never been detained in an airport. Have you been? <laughs> yes, I have been. And it's more just a vlogging. Well, Racial profiling. This was back when I was doing live streaming, so I was filming, and they must have put an air marshal onto my plane to follow me from New York to Pittsburgh. So when I got off the plane in Pittsburgh, they got off the loudspeaker, they were like, is there a Justine Zarek here? And they, like, two cops pulled me off of this plane and put me into a room for two and a half hours, and I was, like, freaking out. They're like, what were you doing? Who were you filming? So Who were you talking to? Yeah, so, so that's, that. how, that's how long Justine's been on the internet, because that was way before YouTube and it was stuff. It like 2007. So that's when people are like, what is, why do you have a camera? Yeah. And now you're just vlogging. But yeah, have you guys ever had any sort of terrible things like that sort of happen to you from vlogging? What about you guys? Well, I'm sure you've had some pranking mishaps. I almost got arrested because of these yeah, two in Philadelphia. That was I, scary. I have the distinct pleasure of seeing three Philadelphia cop cars race up at 60 miles an hour down an alleyway Hot with their lights flashing somehow. because she was tied up and I was chasing her. <laughs> we didn't show that footage on the internet. That was a prank. That was a bad prank. Thanks, Jesse. Philadelphia is great. Yo, it was your idea. 
We tried to do a prank. We never uploaded it because it was pretty terrible. And after the fact, we realized it was a bad idea. Where we were doing a kidnap prank. And well, it no, was originally it? Jesse who yeah. was being kidnapped. It was a reverse kidnap. Like, I was tied up and they threw me out of the van with like a in the back of my head. Nobody in Philly cared. They're like, oh, get, get out of the way. You know, I'm laying on the ground tied up. Help. So we're like, all right, this isn't working. Let's tie Gina up. And we, as soon as we tied her up, the cops showed up immediately. The, scream, and the one scream that she did terrified me in the car. I remember that so vividly. That was the scariest moment. We, I think we had done it like three times. So we had this, we rented this big 12 passenger white van. We'd roll up in front of a public spot, open the door, like the door slides open. We shove her out, she's tied up, slide the door man, and then drive off. And then film people's No, 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 no. no. We had to with you. you. That was her. She was running, and scared, we were tired, and we were scared. She escaped out of the van. van, yeah. This sounds absolutely How dumb is that? We're in a public place, and we literally kidnapped her. And we didn't think people were going to call the cops. I don't know. We, we didn't think through that very good. <laughs> nope. That was bad. The scream ah. that she did, though, was so terrifying. That nope. one I knew it was real. What you say about vlogging in public and being embarrassed, um, I'm embarrassed to vlog in my hometown, like in Philly, yeah. because I see the people, but anywhere else on the planet, I will do the dumbest vlog crazy stuff. I don't care who's watching me. But at home in Philly, I'm always awkward about it. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I am. So this looks like it's along sort of the same lines. So is there anything that you've ever regretted filming in a vlog? And you've already posted it. You're like, well, it's already up. So. Like about your regret? Yeah, any sort of like specific moment. Like something you could go back and edit out of the vlog without anybody knowing because you don't want to bring attention to it, but you wish you could just like cut, cut. No one knows. No, is there any of those I'm, moments? And what time code are they at? But if you upload it one time, they know. They've already downloaded the video. They'll figure it out because it's up and the second time. Yeah, that's the thing, right? You can't... You can't do it twice. Yeah, you it's can't once, take it. And if it's once, it'll go under the radar part, most likely. No, I have, I have a moment in the vlog where I regret that we posted it. We were in the casino and I had like a dollar and it's <laughs> it like 5 a.m. and it's just, you know, some women playing slot machines by themselves. And I'd walk up to them and like, here's a dollar. Psych! And I'd walk away. <laughs> It was just really mean, and then you guys just destroyed me in the comments like how mean that was. So the next day, I walked around and gave everyone a dollar in the vlog. Sorry. <laughs> right. So you guys made me a better person, so I thank you for that. It's like the reverse of stealing candy from a baby, like mocking an old lady playing the dollar slots. <laughs> no. That's basically what they're doing, but they're giving their money away. So I was just saving them the trouble. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you guys keep tweeting because I'm reading your uh, your hashtags here. The hashtag is vlog. If you want to ask a question, so keep those coming. Um, yeah, anything else you guys might regret? I think I've regretted because I'm, I sometimes I don't pay attention when I'm editing. But sometimes we will do a few takes of something, and I just accidentally put the whole five takes in and forget to edit it out. That's that's pretty embarrassing. Oh yeah, the, the, the bad takes. Yes, it's not good. Um, okay, let's see. Here's one from Juliana. If you're out there, Juliana Dev, thank you for the question. What motivates you guys? What motivates you? You guys. I, yeah, I think it sounds cheesy, but it's like coming out and seeing everyone here. I, it's honestly the truth. Yeah, so give it up for yourself right now. It's so cool. Thank you. And thank you guys for coming to the panel, the CSL. This is awesome. It really is, because I think a lot of times we are filming videos by ourselves in our room sometimes, or, you know, you don't actually get to see the impact that you actually are making on people. Right, you kind of get stuck behind the, behind those curtains or something like that. Yeah. Unless you kind of trickle out or something like that. I get motivated to make YouTube videos by watching other YouTubers because it's a grind sometimes. Having done this for seven years, there's times where it's like, you don't want to do it. Like, you love making videos, but right? It's like, it's exhausting. Uh, so I will just hit my subscriptions. I'm like, I'm going to go watch YouTube videos and I'll just go through my feed and I'll watch YouTube videos for like an hour. And then I'm like, you know, Rhett and Link will have made something hilarious and I'll watch a funny music video. Then I'll see a great vlog of I just and her sister in Hawaii or wherever the heck they're traveling that week because they're always on an airplane somewhere. And I'm just like, I want to make something like that. That looks fun and it like gets me excited to edit because I'll have footage that I'm like, 
you know, not editing so I'm like on the internet, but then I'll watch YouTube videos and be like, I wanna make something like that, and then I'll go edit, and it's, I'm motivated to make more content because I watch these guys. I feel like Justine's Instagram is full of outside, like airplanes or something, like looking out a window. This is my favorite pictures, and I hear the TSA is actually gonna be banning that very shortly, so I'm gonna be really upset. Yeah, really? Hey, you know, yeah I read some articles about it. It's, it's actually, you can't take pictures out the... You're not supposed to. Oh crap, they can't stop Look, that. until they take my phone, I'm gonna keep doing it. My Sierra filter will not be denied. Sierra? A sunset. Dude, don't judge my what? Instagram. Are you, are you a Instagram? Valencia? You probably use Valencia. Valencia, those are, those are Juno. Hello, it's the new... You, you need to update your Instagram. 